well, on a national level, we need to tighten our borders because we're really against, uh, it's a daunting task to try to, um, to stop this, the, these dangerous drugs that we tell people your drugs are not safe. But you got heroin, you have cocaine, crack cocaine, you have fentanyl and these other synthetic uh, opiates and they're not homegrown, they're not manufactured here, so they're brought in. But we will keep on fighting this war. And uh, what tools do we have? We have these great partnerships. We, we tell people all the time that your drugs are not safe. But in Erie County, more than spending money on this through uh, a task force, this and that, I can tell you this. Erie County, um, and we say it all the time, is the size of a living room, and uh, word of mouth means more than anything. So when you need a handyman, when you need an attorney, when you need whatever, you go and you talk to a neighbor and he tells you who he or she is the best person. And the same is with uh, people that are addicted to uh, drugs. You know, they want to find the best drugs, the cheapest, uh, most affordable, and you know, they want to go to a place that they're going to uh, purchase these uh, drugs and not get arrested. But it also shows, it also shows the grip uh, the control that these drugs have on, on, on people. If you know that you're going to consume cocaine, crack cocaine and heroin, and you may die, and you're still willing to do that, um, there's a big problem. So, you know, taking a step back, if, if we didn't have the consumers, uh, people addicted to the drugs, these drugs would not be coming in. Some other product would be coming in instead. So we have a lot of work to do, but as law enforcement goes, I can tell you this, uh, we will continue fighting. Um, this is about professional law enforcement, this is about partnerships, and this is about protecting our public.